Kirsten from Lambie's Nursery and this is baby Graceland and I get asked all the time because I love to do outing videos but a lot of people are kind of afraid to do outings with their reborns or new to it and they just want some more information to help it make sense to them. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to do an outing video and maybe some tips and some tricks. So first off, we got to put this cutie in a car seat. Here she is in the car seat. Now, obviously, if you want to do an outing, you do not have to put the baby in the car seat. They make baby backpacks, baby carriers, or you can just hold your baby in your arms with like a blanket. I have done all of these things and the only time people have ever come up to me and have been like, whoa, is that a doll? was when I was just carrying the doll with just a blanket and that was it. The rest of the time, nobody comes up to me, nobody bothers me, and nobody is weird. So it's a little bit more realistic to have your baby either in a car seat or in a carrier. That, that is if you're a little bit more shy and don't want those reactions. So let's make her look a little bit more realistic in this baby car seat. And we do that by first, buckling her in because you wouldn't just put a real baby in a car seat and just leave them dangling around. So, give me that. So to make her look more realistic, I put this newborn head pad since she is a newborn size dolly and I put the chest clip by her chest just like you would a real baby. So what else could make her look more realistic? Well, we could push her head to the side a little bit and maybe put her arms in a more realistic position. Let's go ahead and do that. So now she looks a little bit more realistic because she's off looking to the side. She's not directly looking at someone. So if you're hoping that people won't notice she's a doll, um, putting them so they're facing maybe at an angle a little bit makes it so people are a lot less likely to notice that it is a doll. Now, before we're ready, she isn't completely realistic looking yet. She isn't ready for the outing. So I'm going to strap a little passy and clip to her car seat. That way she looks a little bit more like a real newborn. So I'll go ahead and clip that and maybe place her binky under her arm. Maybe put it nearby her like that. So it looks like maybe she spit it out. So also what we're gonna do is give her a little stuffed animal to hold on to. There, because usually babies have a little stuffed friend to hold on to and look at and snuggle. And then even though it is pretty hot where I live, I'm still gonna give her a blanket because you don't want babies to get too cold. Like you don't want real babies to get real cold. <laughs> and it just, it gives more of that illusion that she's real, so you can't see that her legs aren't kicking or anything like that. So, just a little bit more realistic. I'll fold it up kind of crazy so you don't know where those legs are for certain. And then tuck it under. There. And then one last thing I like to do for the car seat is I have a car seat cover that goes over this. I like to put that on just to make sure people can't totally see her so she's a little bit more concealed just like that so if i'm around somebody who's like freaking me out or i'm just having a lot of anxiety i can go ahead and put the cover over and then nobody can see her and then at moments where i'm being brave and i'm not so scared i can lift this up and she's visible so a lot of people don't realize this because i do a decent amount of outings but outings actually give me a lot of anxiety and they really scare me depending on how I do them so when the doll is like this and just looks super real and I do everything I can to make sure everything's realistic I don't get much anxiety because I know nobody's gonna come up to me I know nobody's gonna be rude because they really think it's a real baby doll but it's at moments where I'm just like carrying the doll around like I did last year at the on the train ride and then what I did I think about a month ago when we went to the ghost town where I was just carrying the doll around those give me a lot of anxiety because anybody can come up and be really rude and they know I'm filming a video so I don't know they do scare me outings do freak me out a little bit so nobody's immune to being scared of this kind of thing or having anxiety 
But most of the rest of the time, I try to remember that I will never see these people again. It doesn't matter what they think. And most people, if you tell them, hey, it's a doll, I do YouTube and my friend makes these, they'll be like, whoa, that's really cool. I've done reaction videos before and most people think these are really, really cool. Hardly ever is somebody really rude. It's just our imagination sometimes run away from us and they're, I don't know, they tell us kind of lies. They're like, everybody is going to think you're crazy. Everybody is going to hate you. And that's just flat out lies. That's not true at all. That's just our imagination getting away from us. But at times like those, if I'm going to do an outing, I try not to do an outing where a lot of people I know might be. So I might try to go to a grocery store that's far from home or I might try to do an outing like the Wild West Town where it's pretty far from home and nobody I know is going to be around. So I try to make sure that these people will never see me again and they really don't care. And then the biggest thing of all, I try to remember when I'm having a lot of anxiety around an outing, is that the people I meet, if they are rude, their opinion doesn't matter. I am having fun. Hobbies are really healthy for you. And it doesn't matter what they think. I'm having fun and I'm having fun making content for you guys. And that's what matters, to me at least. So try to remember if you can that you might, you probably will never see those rude people again. It's very unlikely you'll meet rude people. And when you do meet rude people, they don't matter. Their opinions do not matter. Just do you. If you're not hurting yourself, others, or putting you and your family into massive amount of debt, you're fine. Life is fine. Keep doing you. But enough of me talking about it. Let's go do this outing. Let's go take this cutie girl somewhere and show you guys how an outing is done. Maybe give you guys some more tips or just show you it's not that scary. It's a lot of fun, actually. I totally recommend it. I have a lot more fun when I take my dolls out and video outings for you guys. And that was our little outing. So with everything going on in the world and social distancing and all that, I'm still not totally comfortable doing a real outing video like at the store or anything with a doll. It, I just don't like filming it right now, that's all. But it still went really well. Like people kept their distance. They didn't like peek into my stroller and go, ooh, how old's your baby? And just like, let me cough all over it. Like. Nobody was weird, <laughs> nobody did anything, and that's generally how outings go for me. I just do whatever I want with the doll, and people mind their own business. So if you really want to do an outing, get out there and go do it. Super fun, super easy. I hope this was helpful to you guys. I love you guys all so much, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys! Hey guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. So usually those of you who stay till the end, you really enjoy my channel. So Ethan and I are starting a new channel and this will be mostly about us and the dogs and our new house and our life because me and Ethan do a lot more that I don't normally film or talk about because it's not related to dolls. But this, <laughs> this new channel is actually going to be really silly, or at least that's our plan right now is for it to be super silly. And it's going to be like a parody on like family channels, only it's going to be a parody with our dog. So it's going to be super silly, super off the wall. And if you guys want to join in on the fun, um, I will probably start talking about it a lot here really soon. And I'll probably even put the channel right here on this little 
Hawaii page you're saying right now if I can if it lets me if not maybe I'll pin a comment down below for the new channel or throw the new channel down in the description below but stay tuned for that we're really really excited I love you guys so much thank you as always for all of your support you guys are amazing